Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson here. Just wanted to go over the Savage B22 Precision. Uh, a lot of people have asked why I bought it, why I have it, do I like it? You know, I've been getting a lot of questions on it because I've had it for quite a while and I have put a ton of rounds through this thing. So I kind of wanted to give like my final thoughts, so to say, or, you know, I mean, we can continue with this rifle. But just wanted to kind of do a little follow-up on it. You know, what I've thought about it so far, and I'm being very, very honest, I probably have at least, at least 500 plus rounds through this thing. I haven't counted every single one, but I have shot this thing a ton. Stuff y'all don't see about it, and I've got videos on it where I'm actually shooting it in multiple videos, but, you know, when I go to the range to shoot pistols and things like that, I actually bring this. Um along with me and a lot of people might say why the hell do you bring this you know when you're shooting pistols this thing right here to me is a relaxation device it is super super relaxing to shoot this rifle to get down in the prone and just shoot you know just slow just fire rack around shoot rack around you know of course it's a bolt action but, uh, and I've had people ask why I didn't get the A22, the semi-automatic version. And honestly, I wanted a bolt. Uh, so that's kind of why I did it. But if you haven't seen it, I've had a lot of questions. Why did I buy this over the American Precision? And I don't know if y'all know all about this, but this is a full chassis. So this is a true MDT chassis that they built just for this rifle. So this rifle weighs seven and a half pounds. And it's hard to show rifles like this when you're doing these kind of tabletop videos. It does have the threaded barrel right there. It does have the adjustable, you know, so you can change everything here and you can change your cheek weld. It does have an awesome trigger. Uh, this is their upgraded performance trigger. The poundage on this trigger will go from five and a half down to like one and a half. So it's really, really a nice trigger. The scope that I have on it is just an inexpensive trophy. Matter of fact, this thing, this scope was free, so I didn't even pay for it. Um, and the mount is like some cheap mount. <laughs> I think the mount was maybe like 20 bucks or something. It's not even expensive either. And if I want, I could put a red dot on the top, but whatever. So, why do I have it? It's relaxing, it's fun. It's something to do, you know, 22 is ex uh, inexpensive to shoot. Um, one thing I have done to it is I took the sling mount off and I put a little M-lock piece right here. So this is M-lock, you can put any M-lock on here, but it had one of those little sling buttons on there. So that's been pulled off. Uh, it does come with a threaded barrel, like I said, and it does have a threaded cap, so you can pop that off. What's funny is when I shoot it in the prone, I've been using this uh, this bipod. It's awesome. It's an AccuTac, and it's kind of like for a heavy-duty rifle. But man, this thing keeps this little rifle so stable. It's just awesome. But if you haven't checked out the AccuTac uh, bipods, please do. They're really really nice. I mean, you can pull them out, push the button, they pop right in. I've got spikes that go on here if I want to put spikes on it. You know, you can tilt it, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So that's kind of why that's there. But the mags, you know, when I first got them, I thought they were going to be kind of hard to load. Uh, but they're actually really not, you know, once you get used to them. It took me a minute now that these things are loaded. And I'm not going to be putting them in the rifle. But, you know, it took me a little minute, or a little, little bit to get kind of used to them. But, you know, you just kind of put them in. You know, you can see this pushes down. So there is like a little trick to them. The way that I started doing them, I don't know if I could do it on camera. Let me see here. Do it this way. Is what I do is I tilt the butt of this round in and you can see it turn and then I just press it in. So it's actually really easy, especially off camera to really do it. But I've got three of these, and also if you're needing mags, check out the Mag Shack. They've got some awesome deals on mags. They've got tons of mags in stock. Um, you know, they do a lot for the channel, send in mags for testing and things like that. So check out the Mag Shack if you're needing any kind of mags. 
but they already have smoking deals. But, you know, I've had a lot of people, and of course the way that this goes in, it's real simple. You know, your little push button here, and I will make sure this one's the unloaded one so nobody freaks out. And you just snap it in, and you know, this, this presses to release it. You just push this little clip. When I first got these, when these are loaded, sometimes it takes a little bit to push this in. You might have to push it in and kind of tilt this forward to lock it, but it's not a big deal. Um, super easy. But this thing has been really, really, ran really awesomely. Um, I think I've only had like two issues with it feeding and it might have just been some bogus 22. It's fired everything, but of course it's a bolt gun, so I haven't had any issues there. Um, but I'll just load these up. I'll just sit down, shoot 10, 10, 10, 10, just keep on going, load them all back up, 10, 10, 10. So, you know, I take my time with it because it's very relaxing, but that's one reason that I have it. So if you're considering a bolt gun and you want something a little different, I got this one when it first came out and I'm super, super still happy with it. it does have the safety back here on the back. Uh, I did try to change this MDT grip. They do offer them on their website, but I had an Ergo, so I popped this off. I was gonna put the Ergo on it, but the bolt um, stem size is different. So that's just something to be aware of. I wasn't aware of it, but I found that out. And this is not a bad grip. It's just I wanted something, I wanted like an ergo grip on it, but MDT does sell their grip for it if you're interested, but the throw is really nice. You know, it's smooth. Now when you get here to put it down, it's super tight. I'm just gonna let you know it's really tight right there. But of course that's supposed to add for precision, but when you're popping it up to release your rounds, I mean, it's super smooth. So, you know, no issue there if you can see that but it is super tight when you go to lock this down. So it'll take you a little bit. But um, anyway, I just wanted to do a follow-up. People have been asking about it, so I wanted to put this out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. There are additional spacers you can put on this butt pad. I do have it maxed out. I think you can buy like two or four more. Um, I wish it were a little longer for me, but I've got really, really long arms. Uh, it's still not an issue, but kind of wish it was a tad longer but uh, if you have any questions leave them below be glad to answer them for you but just a little quick follow-up you know if you're thinking about getting a nice 22 bolt gun I'm loving this thing and the trigger is awesome so just my two cents but I appreciate y'all so much remember an unarmed nation is a very weak nation so we all got to carry on